Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here, and today we have a pretty special video for you guys. So about three, four videos ago, we actually recorded, and we sh I showed you guys basically us qualifying for Italy World Esports League. So myself, alongside OG and Alec, are going to be traveling to Italy at the end of May to participate in our first live Brawl Stars event. Now, a couple days later, we actually had qualifiers for ESL DreamHack which is NA only, only four teams can make it, and as well, it's a live Brawl Stars event. So I had my qualifiers. The first one was a week ago, and unfortunately, we lost in the very last round, which means we didn't qualify. We lost to Tribe Gaming, so congrats to them. But we had our second and final chance yesterday. I'm recording this a day later. So yeah, so basically, I made it to the finals against Tribe's second team, which is Nick, Keith, and Usain Colt. And, you know, it was a really great matchup. They're a really talented team. They actually finished above us in the standings. And we actually met them in the finals of, like, our seed, our bracket. And I'm just going to show you guys the three games of the best of five that we played. And just a little bit of a spoiler. You know, we won. So I'm super excited that I get to be going. Literally from Italy, I go back home for two days. And then I go to Dallas. So it's super exciting getting to play in all these live Brawl Stars tournaments. Getting to meet a bunch of different people. But that being said, let's get into the first game. I'm going to show you guys how we won in the finals against such a great team. So here we go. In the first game, we played Hard Rock Mine. You know, this is a very popular map since since this game came out two years ago it's kind of been the staple of competitive brawl stars it's just it, it's just an amazing map and you know we're, we're totally used to it myself Bailey Nash all being beta players all having a ton of wins we played on this a bunch and so has Keith Nick and Usain Colt so you know we're all very comfortable with this map so what we decided to do was go Pam Jean and Carl and the reason we wanted to do this is because we had a good feeling that they were gonna go Leon and we know how strong of a brawler Leon is against weaker weaker health uh, characters. So basically all we did was we grabbed five kind of tankier people. You know, we all have above 5k health. And we're basically just taking away the Leon aspect from this. So in this game, Usain played really well. So Feli started on the left side and then they kind of, Feli and Ash switched. And Usain really held it down because Ash came over to the right side. We grouped up because we knew that the, the Leon was invisible. And every, you know from there, Usain was just dominating. But good on us you know we never really made ourselves you know a prime target for them to kill we we always stayed back we worked as a team instead of as a singular you can see Usain absolutely going off right now we're we're just clogged up trying to get one kill so i went right beside keith i tried to hit him a couple times you know i was using auto aim there when i shouldn't have he's a little bit off the auto aim so good move on him we know he's sneak at this aspect so we're just chilling together we know he's in that bush so we were able to get him nick has super I'm missing my super over there. I actually struggled a lot with my supers in this qualifier, which I usually don't. Usually Gene is my best character. But you know, I did struggle with him a little, but with that being said, my positioning definitely helped out a lot. So we only needed one gem. So I went up and I grabbed that gem as quickly as I could because I knew Nick had super. Nick's really saving his super, trying to get the best chance, trying to get, you know, the easiest shot towards us and, you know, hit that super. Unfortunately for them, they did miss it. You know, Ash is just going to roll into the Leon. I'm going to pull Usain Colt. Nick's going to go down, and that's going to be the end of the first game. So it's one nothing for us in the series. I got star player. As you guys can see, all six people are extremely high in trophies. And even like Usain Colt and Feli, who are at 500, Usain Colt had like, uh, he, I don't even know. His car was definitely way higher before, and Feli had a 1k Pam. So just because they're low now, we're all really good at the brawlers we're playing. So it was definitely a super, super tough match. But with that being said, let's get into the second one. So here we go. We're going to be playing Safe Zone, which is another map that at least my team I know really enjoys. I don't know about others, but I'm pretty sure this is a pretty well-liked heist map. So basically, we knew that they were going to play kind of a control meta. We've been playing with a Crow since Crow got a buff for basically the entirety of this. But we knew that they were going, going to run a Pam. So what we did is we just kind of mirrored what, what they were going to do. So we ran the same comp thinking that we can outplay them. Um, I'm pretty confident with my Brock abilities. Obviously, we're very confident in Feli's Pam abilities. He got Pam 1k. He plays Pam a lot competitively. And Ash just is very versatile and knows what he's doing with a lot of the Brawlers. So he just volunteered to play Jesse because he knew that myself and, and Feli were really good with these Brawlers. And he kind of just said, you know, I'll make it work with Jesse. So over here, I missed three shots. That was a bit shaky of a moment. Right here, we're kind of staying back. I knew Keith would get a little bit anxious and move up. My super there, although I only hit two of the rockets, was really important because I eliminate that wall that you guys can see over here that we have, but they don't have. 
Now at that point I kind of lagged out for a second. It was a little bit suspicious. Um, as soon as you drop that turret, you know, you want to take it out straight away. So me and Feli focused on taking that turret out, even though I did take one shot towards you, St. Cole. So we're losing by 2% right here. Almost half the game has gone by already. And it's just basically a fight for who can get mid control. I went up really aggressive and I was able to kill Keith and then fall back without dying. As long as they don't get a super big push on us, they're not going to be able to do anything. So Ash is going to throw his turret right on Usain. We're just going to keep playing super defensive. That was a pretty bad super. I didn't hit anything there. But yeah, Feli is going to be able to take out Keith. They're going to come on a little bit strong towards the end. We're able to take out, I think, yeah, we're able to take out someone. We're able to take out Usain. Um, they did do a lot of damage, but, you know, that's it. They, they only did 51, we did 80, or I think we did 90-something, and that's going to be the end. So, again, I got star player, but that was probably just because I had the highest damage brawler on our team, and, I, and obviously we are on the winning team. So, at this point, it's 2-0, and we're heading into Brawl Ball. Brawl Ball's our most confident mode, you know, we're super good at it, we practice it all the time. And let's just hop into the Brawl Ball games, and I'll show you guys what happened. So, here we go into our Brawl Ball games. So... We actually finished our semifinals game early and we saw them play the finals on this map and we knew what their comp was going to be. So we ran Carl mid, we ran Primo lane because we knew Anita won't be able to take out a Primo and that's in just Anita lane because that's safe. So I was able to beat Nick in like 10 seconds. Then Ash just walked up, I passed him the ball and Keith wasn't able to do enough damage because he's Anita. So he wasn't able to get that kill. So right now we're kind of thinking about the same thing. You know, I have super. I know I'm able just to shred through a Poco. So I'm starting to get a little bit aggressive. Feli, I think, made a bad bear play over there. He could have stayed alive a lot longer if he didn't throw that bear there. Ash was a little bit too far away. So we weren't able to kill Nick and Usain. Thus, it was. it's just a really quick one-to-one. -one. You know, on this map, usually you can go two and a half minutes without anyone scoring. So it's super tough to score on this, um, on this mode. I mean, sorry, on this map, especially since there's no, the, the walls are right there and we have no wall breakers. Anyways, I went in, good heal right there by Nick, and we I was actually able to get my super back because I did hit Usain and Nick a bunch. So I'm just walking up. Ash has the ball. This is crazy. Ash walks up and he dies, but he still manages to get the ball in the net, and that's going to be game. So that's my third star player, but more importantly, way more importantly than that, we were able to take away the dub Ash with two great goals as a primo. He's a really good goal scorer. Feli did a great job holding his lane. And then obviously I did decently well in the mid. GG's to Usain, Runic, and Keith. By the way, they both stream a lot. So check them out if you guys are into that. But, you know, it was crazy games. We were very confident going into it. And we're even more confident now that we were able to beat such a great team pretty easily. But with that being said, you know, that's going to be me qualifying to Dallas, Texas, my second live qualifier that I qualified for literally within like four days. So that's super awesome. I'm feeling super good right now about myself and my teams moving forward. But with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. So if you guys liked this replay of how I made it to Dallas, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know about that. Um, I definitely intend to make some videos in Italy and in Dallas with a bunch of the people that I meet there. And yeah, we'll see what happens. With that being said, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to dip but I will be back tomorrow with another great video. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Peace.